With Father's Day just around the corner, let's make a special design for Dad, quickly and without a lot of tedious digitising. All you need is Embroidery Studio 4, Wilcom Clip Art, Lettering, the Transform Toolbar, the Arrange Toolbar, and a few tips and shortcuts which I'll go through with you, and of course, your imagination. The first step is to place a hoop on the work area. This is optional and only to make sure the design will fit in your available hoops. Use your lettering tool to create the word happy. Any font will do as you can easily change this later. Right click, hold and drag to duplicate the word. Now change the letters in the second word to fathers. Then while selected, drag from one corner to make the word larger. Holding the shift key while dragging will make the word enlarge from the centre. Now change the font and colour. Now might be a good time to adjust the letter spacing. Use the reshape tool, keyboard shortcut, letter H. Left clicking on a letter node will allow you to move the letter along the baseline. Right clicking on a letter node Select that letter and all to the right, then you can drag all at once. Once again, right click on the word happy with the select tool and drag to duplicate. Now edit the letters to create the word day. Fix the spacing if required. From the Word Art section in the Properties box, select an option and make changes to the word Fathers. Make similar changes to the word Day to suit your design. The Reshape tool will allow you to change the shape of the Word Art. This would be a good time to open the Arrange Toolbar. From the Window menu, select Toolbars and the Arrange Toolbar. Select All, Keyboard Shortcut Control A and Align Centers Vertically. If necessary, change the line spacing so the top and bottom lines are in position and use the Space Evenly Down button to even the spacing between lines. Now for the fun bit. Open the clip art docker and search. This dad is a golfer. Drag your selection to the work area. Drag a second bag and position approximately where you would like it to stitch. To mirror the bag, Open the Transform Toolbar from the list of toolbars and select Mirror on the horizontal. Reposition and again use the Align to Top to align both golf bags. They will line up with the last one selected. Now group the bags, so when we align the whole design, they will align as one. I know I digitised a moustache recently, but it's not showing in my clip art. From the folder drop down, I will select my Embroidery Studio E4 folder, which includes the clip art subfolder, and other file locations where I store designs. Ah, there it is. Drag and drop again. I think I'll add a scroll as well. Again, a recent addition to my library. Drag it into place and adjust. Again, we can use the transform toolbar. The last icon is to transform by reference line. Select the object, then the icon, and click two reference points on the object. Now click where you want the first reference point to move to, 
and again click for the second reference point. Now right click and drag away to duplicate. Then mirror horizontally and adjust the location. If you need to align them, select both objects, making sure you select the object you wish to align to last. To select multiple objects, hold the control key down while selecting each object with the left mouse click. Then group. Select all and arrange on the vertical center line. Dad's not a golfer? No problem. Save this for someone whose dad is and modify to suit for your dad. In fact, you could use this technique for many designs based on a central theme. In this video, I've used clip art included in your software and other objects I have created myself. To download these and save to your system, go to the blog at productblog.wilcom.com and look for the download link at the bottom of the article. Thanks for watching.